to continue the segment of broke ass nigga solutions we could talk we could take broke ass nigga solutions and really what that is 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 being green okay because when you are finding alternative solutions for doing certain things that's you green because you know you gotta be recycling right so right now everybody knows i'm living in florida right now and you can see right here i got a little friend right here my little snowman friend and i love him very much i'm very proud of him he makes me very happy um but why is he green why i'm saying that he's a broke ass nigga solution well this little guy he's actually the little pumpkins that I had outside my house from Halloween and I kept them outside from Halloween to Thanksgiving and we gave him one more chance to live and do something we recycle him and how do we make a pumpkin into a snowman is that cute and look I even did little um more Christmas decorations you see the little snowflakes right here and look if you don't believe me it really is a pumpkin how I did that you probably saying oh my god I'm here to tell you so okay you want to do something a little bit bigger. Maybe you don't have money to buy all this stuff. Maybe you're like me. That like, you know, whatever. You're just doing the best with what you got. You have a couple of little art supplies. You keep yourself busy. But I'm in Florida. You know what? I, check it out. Look at these guys. Right here. It's a medium size. And what did I use? The grapefruits that are growing outside the tree. There's grapefruits everywhere. There's grapefruits everywhere. I'm allergic to everything. I can't be eating grapefruits out here. and think because I'm going to get sick and die. So, or I'm not even going to die. I can't even exaggerate it. But look, you got a couple of different grapefruits. You paint them white. You put a little, a little mop pods, a little glue. You sprinkle them with glitter. And then, wait a minute, but they're going to fall. How am I going to keep it up? Well, how many of y'all people get the, get the chopsticks from the Chinese restaurant when they send you food? You know, you're not going to eat no damn chopsticks. Because you know you, you, wanna, you don't want to have to work hard for your food. And you're, just gonna, you're probably going to just be stabbing shit anyway and like pissing in your face. I got some cone and the barbarian shit. But like, what you gonna do, right? You take your little thing, you break it. If you can't break it, one of these chopsticks, I don't know what to tell you neither, cause that means whatever. Like I don't, I just don't know. So I'm gonna take my fancy box cutter. It's it's, it's called an exacto knife, okay? You sharpen off the edge a little bit. It's really easy, okay? It's the same thing like when your kids, when your kids have to come and they gotta sharpen their pencil for school and you don't have a sharp enough for whatever reason you just grab a steak knife and you just start they call this whittling okay you're gonna whittle some wood okay so you're just carving a little point a little puntita and making a little tip like that like that like that modern technology oh it's juicy as hell it smells like grapefruit in here right now and look at that now how am i gonna make the little face right obviously you're not gonna use coal but I got some little some little black felt or some foam, whatever. And you use this little scissors right here. And you're just going to cut some little circles. They don't even have to be perfect. Remember, it's supposed to be cold, right? And cold is an irregular shape, okay? So or whatever little circles you make, is, if it's lumpy and it looks crazy, that's fine. It works because that's they're supposed to be supposed to be cold. They're supposed to be circles and perfect, you know? So you make a bunch of those little circles. And if you can't remember how to make circles, that I don't know what you were doing in second grade. I don't know. And I'm sure if you can't remember, I'm sure your kids will know how to do it. And they'll probably say, this is not your hand. And so do yourself a favor. Don't embarrass your children. Please, like, remember how to do this stuff. It's not that hard. Okay? Please make a children party. Thank you. Um. So you got to make a bunch of little circles. They could be irregular, whatever. And then um, that's it. You're, just, you're gonna glue them. Take a little Mod Podge because the Mod Podge is the shit. Mod Podge, you can glue anything to anything, okay? And once again, you want to make sure you wash your brushes because they're not, it's going to get messed up and then you're not going to be able to do no more crafts, okay? And then, then you got a broke-ass nigga problem because you used all your shit and then you messed it up. So, there. And you got nobody, nobody to blame but yourself. So, a little eyes. Okay. And I'm going to make these guys a little smaller so I can make his teeth. I mean, his smile, whatever. And it's so easy. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. The only thing that you really need for this is the time and the and the and the desire to make it happen. Okay. 
Look at how cute. How cute is his little face? Oh my God, I'm going to eat his face. But I could because it's a grateful. You see? Let's give him some buttons. I think I'm a button short. And then... And then... He needs a nose. I got some orange over here. If you don't know what a carrot looks like, I, yeah, I don't even know what to say. I got nothing. Yeah. And just a little triangle, but not so much. You can't make it wobbly because carrots are not, you know, a little wobbly. And throw some glue on it. He just lost his teeth. He must, oh, he just lost his eyeballs too. Oh, well. Well, you know the deal. You can figure it out. I'm sure I have to say, I guess I'm going to have to sit here and try to figure out what's going on with my, that's what I get for talking shit to you guys. See, I was being mean to you guys and now, and now my crafts are having a revolution against me. Okay. He must think I'm part of the 1%. I don't know. Whatever. I <sighs> feel, anyway, so that's, you can do this with just about anything, okay? Let me move him over here so he could have his little moment by himself. He could figure his own shit out because I can't do nothing for him. And because, you know, I'm about bridging gaps and building communities, it's not, you know, it's not only about, like, this kind of produce. I'm just saying, like, you could do all kinds of stuff. I did this one. Look how beautiful. That's gorgeous. I think it's rotting though. Oh, it's got fuzz in the bottom. But anyway, whatever. Yes, it's real produce. It's going to go bad. Okay. And this one, my lovely assistant was working on this one over here. Her name is Autumn. Look at how nice. Okay. It's beautiful. This is a grapefruit. And then, like I told you, you definitely want, you can do this with just about anything. Okay. Yes, kids, whatever you have available, the map, listen, glitter solves the, all the world's problems, okay? Yes, I had a bunch of these in the refrigerator, I said, fuck it, let's, 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 let's have some fun. So I did the same thing, put the gesso, 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 you gotta cover the, you know, you gotta paint it first, right? A little bit with the gesso lace, like primer. And then what I did was that I mixed a little bit of white paint, a little bit of green paint, I painted it green. Well, obviously this is white. This is the original one. This, yes, they're real. And then, um, and then this is the finished product. You can't front. This shit is hot, yo. You know it. You hate that you love this shit. I love this shit. This is beautiful. I love it. Yo, by the time I'm done, it's gonna, I'm gonna have the El Platano collection with the glitter, with the pumpkin snowman, with the grapefruit snowman. And the bolitas with the with the broke ass nigga solution snowballs. Check it out. The peppermint plates. It's ridiculous. And I didn't really spend that much loot on none of this shit. And it's just a lot about being creative. And um, I just, you know, whatever. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. And don't forget the wipey the the Christmas wrap wipey box, okay? For so you could even have your bathroom looking blinged out, ready for the holidays. I think, and all it took was a little bit of glitter couple of things around the house and understanding that an orange a grapefruit a, a pumpkin is a circle hello duh so if you're thinking that you don't have the money to have a nice christmas or whatever think again open your eyes look around okay and just be creative and be open to the possibilities so i was gonna do this other thing over here um oh because Think about it. You've seen pictures of people stringing popcorn all day long, right? That's not really sanitary. And you can't really be having popcorn hanging off your tree in the hood. You're going to have rats all over your shit. And water bugs and some crazy nonsense. Especially in, in the projects. And yo, and here in Florida, yo, shit is like the size, yo, like the size of my cell phone, yo. Ridiculous. It's like the size of a fucking Buick flying around. This, I, no, mm -mm, that's not going to happen. But, anyhow. But we got the we got the solutions. We can, you could in fact have 
a very very nice Christmas with almost no money out of pocket just a little bit a couple of things here and there the glitter's like five bucks the Mod Podge is like five bucks and I did all of this and I didn't even put a dent in that bottle of Mod Podge okay so you can't say that you can't have a nice holiday I'm just saying so guys Broke ass nigga Christmas solutions, ask Chuleta, holiday decor. I'm saying, son, this is ridiculous. Yeah. I got one more thing that I gotta handle in the kitchen. It requires eggs, milk, coconut, and some rum. I'ma go handle that and I'ma come back with some more holiday decor. So, mi gente, now that you're done decking the halls, the bars of Holly, and all that other good shit, whatever, whatever. What better way to end the party than with some Puerto Rican eggnog, coquito. Yo, this shit right here, this is some grown big girl drink, okay? This shit will knock the crazy right on out of you. I'm just saying, you know, just got to kick back and enjoy and look at all the beautiful things you made on a broke-ass nigga budget. You got your little snowman, you got your lights, everything, all within your price range, okay? Which is broke-ass nigga budget, okay? I'm just saying, thank you for joining me. Ask Chuleta, Holiday Decor Edition, Broke Ass Nigga Solutions, Felicidades, Peace, mi gente.